Hello my friends. On this video, I'm going to unbox the Liquid Legacy cocktail book. Now, there are unboxings and there are unboxings. This unboxing here is something that I've been waiting for for nine years. You see, back in 2015, I was window shopping on eBay and um, I saw a picture. It, had a, it was just a picture of four bartenders, or actually it was just four gentlemen uh, boarding an American Airlines plane, and uh, they had these big cups in their hands, they had a patch, and their eyes were very passionate, and I got super intrigued, and I purchased it. Um, I, this story is uh, nearly impossible for me to make up. This is a true story. Um, a few days later, another picture on eBay showed up in my feed. Now, mind you, I have a search result, a saved search for bartenders, bartender pictures. And so this one showed up and it was three of the four guys. And this time they were making drinks behind a bar. So I purchased that one too. And I was just super intrigued by whatever uh, these people were going to do for a living or what they were doing and why. And you can tell this picture was probably from the 50s, 60s. Well, that incident, those two pictures combined, uh, triggered the writing of this book that I wrote called The Liquid Legacy. So that started in 2015. Today is January 28th of 2024. So that was almost nine years ago. And today... I get to open it. Um, so I'm excited and that's why I am calling this the, um, the unboxing, the best unboxing, at least for me, that you'll ever find. Um, and probably one of the best unboxings on YouTube to the point where I have brought some Kleenex just in case I get a little emotional on this one. You see, when I did this, when I started this job here, um, my daughter was six. She's now 15. And I had documents and folders and boxes and pieces of paper and old pictures and so many things that were around my house for all this time that I could finally archive. And this here, my friends, in a beautiful little plastic envelope is the first issue of the liquid legacy that I want to show you. And I'm excited. Comes with an envelope. Let's see what the envelope says. Hi, Livio. Here is your advanced copy for your reference. What a beautiful art book this is. Thank you, Mark. And shout out to Mark from On The Mark, who wrote, who was nice enough to write uh, such a thoughtful note. And here we are, right in front of me, The Liquid Legacy. Okay, I'm going to put on my glasses to take a look at it, but immediately, as you can see, so just so you know, the story of the Liquid Legacy started with those four, bar four bartenders. What I did not know and ended up learning many years later is that they were the original American founders of what of an organization that became another bartender's organization that became another one that ended up becoming the United States Bartenders Guild. From 2004 to 2010, I was the national president of this organization and picked it up at a very, very challenging time in its history. And we grew together. And so that organization is one I love so much. That picture that I found on eBay in 2015 um, ended up becoming the story of the USBG and I didn't even know it obviously at the time. So for me, this is a very interesting story. As you can see here, the cover shows the letters of the USBG, but it pours into the heart and the passion, the muddler, and a little bit of flair, uh, all the way to bringing the organization to being the national chapter of the USBG. But uh, what's really more important about this book 
is that um, here it is right here. I'll encapsulate it in this line right here. It's dedicated to all the bartenders from around the world who fight for what they believe in, even when it is invisible to others. The people in this book here, which I cover their stories, their passions, their contributions to the cocktail world, um, what these folks did was incredible because they did it at a time when bartending was not cool, when cocktails were not cool. The bar was that weird little thing shoved in the corner of a, of a restaurant where you sent the guest that, uh, whose table wasn't ready. Hey, go over there, Johnny the bartender will take care of you. And drinks were sloppy and glow sticky and very, very uh, different. Um, one thing I should stand corrected on is that the bartenders in the original picture were six and the bartenders in the second picture were three. So there were six bartenders. Here's that picture and it inspired this entire story. As you can see, they just have a lot of passion. They're just excited about what they're embarking on. So um, I am pretty excited about this book. Yeah, it walks through all the turbulations and challenges that these bartenders went through all the way to forming a national organization, how one of them was pivotal in the popularizing the margarita cocktail all over the world. And this is the picture of the three right here. These are the, this is the same, three of the same six people that were making drinks. And um, in this book, there's also the contribution of six other uh, highly respected bartenders from the uh, United States that uh, basically contributed with some amazing recipes that were inspired by some of these members and their cocktails. So this is Joe Galsini, for instance. He created a cocktail called the Saturn. In this book, we uncover a cocktail that predated the Saturn um, that was very similar, but he had some sort of a tiki um, uh, uh, formula that he loved to use. And he, of course, was a master in Polynesian drinks and in the tiki culture. Um, so when you, if you see this book, you will find that recipe published for the very first time. As I'm going, now we're turning into a national organization. There are so many cool things that are happening. We start right at the end, the beginning of the end of this story. Uh, this story ends in 1999. We do not want to talk about 2000 because a lot of other things happened after that. So we start with Dale DeGroff and then we move on to Tony Abuganem and Francesco LaFranconi. We move on to members that have done incredible things. Once again, what's really, really the, the key of this uh, story here and of the cocktails in this book is that these people were doing it at a time when it was not cool. They had hospitality in their heart. They had hospitality in their way of being. They took pleasure in making other people happy. And uh, it wasn't because it was cool or because they were getting their pictures in a newspaper or in a magazine. None of that was the thing. And so with this book here, uh, one of the most important aspects of that is that we pay tribute to these bartenders. These are people that nobody would have known about had we not done some digging and giving them their own little wall of honor. Okay, a wall of honor. Because these people paved the way for people like me to find uh, an industry that was still very, very, very salvageable, meaning the cocktail industry. Uh, because as you may or may not know, in the 70s and the 80s, we hit a little bit of a, a dip down. But these people here helped lay out the foundation to what the cocktail is today and what beverage hospitality is today. Uh, I also have one, two, three, four, five, six people that have praised this book. Uh, and I want, to, I want to thank them as well. Robert Hess, Dale DeGroff, Sandre Lawrence, Tony Abuganem, Kara Newman, and Beef, Beach, Jeff Beachbum 
Barry. And uh, with that video, I guess the only thing I owe you now is where to buy the book and when to get the book. Uh, because this is my first copy, I'm gonna scrub through it just to get any last, uh, last thoughts on it. Uh, if today is January 28th, this book will probably be available uh, by the beginning of April. Uh, if you go to usbg.org, that is the United States Bartenders Guild, I'm assuming they will have the book for sale. You'll probably be able to find it on Amazon and other spots as well. And with that, um, I want to thank you for watching this video and spending this very, very, very special moment with me and the Liquid Legacy. Salute.